everybody, big news. We have the new update today to Logic. It's just a, really a service update, I think. We have a bunch of fixes on things. We have freeze function working now, the loop function working now, bunch of stability and reliability, some basic performance, and we have accessibility, dynamic plugin loading, some fixes there, some things in the mixer, automation fixes, plugins. Here's the Apple loops, some undo fixes, control surface, MIDI controller fixes, articulations, flex time and pitch, takes comping, key commands, export, and some general things. Okay, so probably some things we didn't even know were broken at this point, but uh, some things which we obviously did. Great to know that they're turning around. I, obviously, there was a couple of really big issues in the last update, and so having these come out really was probably to address the biggest things, but then to throw some other things in there as well. So huge news, and it's super nice that things are now working. Plus, now when you pull out Apple Loops across different tempos, different lengths, everything, that actually appears to now all work correctly. And actually, if you look at this, it actually brings them in not at full volume, which is super smart when you're bringing in multiple files, even though it's not really enough when you're bringing in a bazillion of them. But now they're all lined up, tempo matched to each other. They all came in with the appropriate instruments, either MIDI or audio. And that makes no audio sense whatsoever. Okay, the other thing I wanna do right now is actually look at the notation features in Sidecar. So this was something I was working on earlier in the week and then this update came out today. So we uh, did a little update on that, but also I wanna actually look at this uh, functionality here. So this is a pretty cool functionality and I actually just wanna walk through, I made a video about this so you can see it in action with Sidecar in the new beta for iPad and OS X, but check it out. Some things are so easy in here. I wish there was a little shorter way to get to the other tools on here, but you still have to click on them or use a keyboard in conjunction with it. But then moving around the notation screen, going full screen is so easy. And then a lot of the basics are pretty easy too. So choosing what we wanna draw and then actually taking it out onto the notation into the staff, super simple and it feels more natural than using a mouse. I still prefer to play the parts on a keyboard, but this is great for editing. It's great for adding notation or uh, other accents or punctuation or dynamics. Uh, some things like switching between the different channels is pretty easy here. It feels like you're really part of the music now. And because it relies on the Apple Pencil, you can rest your whole arm on the iPad screen. It doesn't interfere at all. It's only taking the pencil input. So that part is good. I will say overall, the thing that you're gonna be dealing with is still logic notation, which isn't fabulous overall. I think that there's some quirks about it that I don't really like, especially when you're doing you know, different parts, like on a piano part, if I want to have a whole note, but also have some eighth notes intermixed with it. it, gets a little tricky sometimes, and I don't actually like that, but this is such a great way to be able to interact with the notation that I think if I'm doing notation and logic in the future, this is the way I'm going to be doing it, unless I'm just playing the parts in on the keyboard itself. So... Yes, I think Sidecar here, this is one of the huge potential benefits of having this partnership. And I really like how it's working so far. And I think hopefully Apple will just buy up some additional notation software places and give us handwriting recognition to score conversion so that you can integrate all that right in. I hope that this was useful to some of you. Hope you made it to the end of the video. If so, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and uh, we'll have another video soon.